A Christmas miracle celebrated in mid-Michigan tonight. A local man suffering a severe heart attack, nearly losing his life in October. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us at 530. I'm Frank Turner. TV5's Ashton Hill reporting on the staggering odds the man beat to survive. Tell me, how does that make you feel as a father? Oh, my gosh. Proud. Mike O'Keefe tells me he quite literally wouldn't be alive without the quick thinking from two of his sons, Brant and Bryce. Back in October of this year, the family experienced an emergency they never saw coming. I have no memory of any of that. Um, I basically was outside working on a Saturday and woke up here. With no recollection of what even happened, Mike tells me he woke up at MidMichigan Hospital in Midland and was told he suffered a severe heart attack. This is the kind that um, has a high uh, mortality rate, uh, about one in five to one in four patients uh, do not survive this kind of a heart attack. Dr. Andy Bogoshowski has been practicing intervention cardiology for 10 years. He says Mike actually underwent the worst type of heart attack, called a STEMI. A STEMI is, a, is an abbreviation for ST elevation myocardial infarction. So this is a kind of a type of a heart attack. He says he performed an angioplasty procedure and after it was a success, he went into the waiting room to locate Mike's family. What he saw next shocked him. I came into the waiting room when I saw uh, what I've never seen at uh, uh, non-waking hours uh, and I saw a room full of people. So I asked for the a family and and I was very surprised to see everybody just turn and just raise their arms. They have been amazing. The, the staff, everybody, the doctors and things that went on behind the scenes that most people don't know about that saved me was absolutely amazing. Mike tells me he's absolutely thankful for everybody who's been involved and according to the O'Keefe family this is nothing short of a Christmas miracle. Merry In Midland, Ashland Hill, WNEM <laughs> TV5. And to you. Some heart attacks result from 80 to 90% artery blockage. In Mike's case, the artery 100% blocked.